Hey everyone, what's going on? I know this video is a little bit late, but I wanted to show the scripting that was going on within the game that happened on September 13th, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cincinnati Bengals. If you've been following my channel, I've been talking about how these games are absolutely scripted by what is called gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And along with this, there's also themes that come with it. That's why the big important theme that is going on within the NFL right now is the kneeling during the national anthem. And what I've talked about in previous videos is how it's synced up to the War of 1812. And that's why the very opening game of the season this year, we got the Eagles playing the Falcons, and the score was 18 to 12 even. And then the War of 1812 was when the national anthem was written by Francis Scott Key, and he wrote it at the Battle of Baltimore. And if you notice in Gematria, Baltimore Ravens equal 231, just like national anthem in Gematria, 231. Another big thing that I pointed out was that Colin Kaepernick originally knelt on the 239th day of the year of 2016, and Donald Trump last year called out the NFL for kneeling during the national anthem on the date of 23-9, September 23rd, and the flag was supposedly sewn at 239 Arch Street in Philadelphia, and that's why Philadelphia was in the Super Bowl last year, because it was all about the flag symbolism. And the year before, that was the, the year that Colin Kaepernick had originally knelt, and the Atlanta Falcons made the Super Bowl that year. Notice in Gematria, they equal 239. And when you look up John Harbaugh, the coach of the Baltimore Ravens, his birthday just so happens to be September 23rd. And if you recall, John Harbaugh was also in, he coached Super Bowl 47 against his brother Jim Harbaugh. And in that Super Bowl, they played the San Francisco 49ers that Colin Kaepernick just so happened to be the, the starting quarterback of, remember? And then they, they blew the game, whatever, they threw the three passes instead of running the ball. That last drive started with 2 minutes and 39 seconds in the game even. And I'm going to show a little bit more here in a second. But in regards to the Ravens playing the Bengals, or not Marvin Bengals, Marvin Lewis. Notice what Marvin Lewis's birthday is too. September 23rd. And this game on Thursday, last Thursday night, it came on September 13th which just so happened to be the during the anniversary of the Battle of Baltimore. Let's look at the Battle of Baltimore, where Francis Scott Key wrote the National Anthem. It began on September 12th, and it went to September 15th. So this game even was played, again, with Baltimore in it, played over the anniversary of the Battle of Baltimore. You know, so we have all of these connections to this battle where the national anthem was written. I also pointed out that in Jewish gematria, you know, and think about gematria and how it stems back to Jewish mysticism, and, you know, within Kabbalah, which is called Kabbalah, and within Kabbalah they have the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. And I pointed out that the word flag just so happens to equal 34, and this game came on the date of 13 slash 9, a lot like 139, which is the 34th prime number. And way back when in Super Bowl 47, I pointed out all kinds of stuff. It, there was a, a blackout that happened at that game, and that blackout happened for 34 minutes. And that game was played on the 34th day of the year. And the Ravens won with 34 points. And also in Gematria, Ravens equal 34. Ravens equal 34. Joe Flacco equals 34. He was the MVP of that Super Bowl. 
And this year he's going to turn 34 years old. And also the last time, the, the only other Super Bowl that the Ravens won, the Ravens also scored 34 points. Just want to show you really quick. This is the Super Bowl in the year 2000. The Ravens beat the New York Giants with 34 points. And then in 2012, they won Super Bowl 47, also with 34 points. Ravens equal 34, right? Harbowl equals 34 in Jabafria, or Harbowl is what they called it. Just H-O, I'll just type it out really quick. Harbowl equals 34, Joe Flacco equals 34 in Jabafria. And then the only Super Bowls they win are with 34 points, and they have a 34-minute blackout in the game that's played on the 34th day of the year. Oh, the odds. And then now this year, the big theme, or, you know, the past few years, but the, the major theme is kneeling during the National Anthem, and the word flag equals 34. And Super Bowl 47 was against Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers, synced up by the numbers. And think about the 49ers and the Bengals here. The Cincinnati Bengals. Let's tell you the Cincinnati Bengals here. Really quick, Cincinnati Bengals. The only Super Bowls that they've been into in were 1981 when they lost to the 49ers, oh, the odds, and in 1988 when they lost to the 49ers. What are the odds of that, you know? The Bengals lose to the 49ers in both the Super Bowls they've been in, and the Baltimore wins with 34 points. And they even played the 49ers in one, synced up to the flag, and call it Kaepernick. Look at the score of this game from Thursday night. The Bengals won with 34 points. What are the odds? The Bengals win with 34 points. All these other 34s that are synced up to the flag, synced up to the Battle of Baltimore, synced up to the 49ers and kneeling during the National Anthem. And then the Bengals win with 34 points. You gotta, you know, give me a break. Also, the Bengals are a cat, and the cat was really important to that John Madden shooting that happened in Jacksonville by the guy named David Katz that was synced up to the the Battle of New Orleans that was won by Andrew Jackson and Jacksonville named after, you know, Andrew Jackson. And that was the war that ended the War of 1812 where Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem in Baltimore, and David Katz was from Baltimore, and even had the Ravens backpack and whatnot. Think about the Ravens connection to the national anthem. I mean, it's absolutely super synced up. So anyway, when this game was over, and I didn't even watch the game, I just looked at the score at the end, or I caught kind of like the tail end of the game. When the game was over, I went to CNN just to check out to see if there was any other any media articles that drew my interest. And right at the top, this is just after the Ravens lose to the Bengals, the headline story is, Mick Raven resigned from Pentagon board days after criticizing Trump in op-ed. So what are the ads? The Ravens just lose in the, in the Thursday night game, and then there's a headline story about a guy named Mick Raven. I mean, this type, this type of stuff happens all the time. And people just don't pay attention, apparently. McRaven resigns just after the the Ravens lose to the Bengals. So I thought I'd, I'd look this guy up. William McRaven. McRaven. And look at his name in Jamatria. 88 and 223. If you write out the Star Spangled Banner, the Star Spangled Banner equals 88 at 223 and you know look at Colin Kaepernick Colin Kaepernick his name also equals 88 just the word Kaepernick that equals 223 and War of 1812 that equals 223 you know what are the odds you know the word Neil also equals 88 like Colin Kaepernick like the Star Spangled Banner just like Great Garrison Flag. That's what the the song was inspired by, by the Great Garrison Flag, and it was sewn by a lady named 
I don't know if I'm going to spell it right here, but Mary Pickersgill. Not spelling it right. It's like something Mary Pickersgill. Her name equals 88 in Chibatria. But she died on the day that leaves 88 days in the year. I mean, the word Trump equals 88. Trump's calling out the people for kneeling during the national anthem. Super duper important. That's why the, the Super Bowl was at U.S. Bank Stadium last year. That equals 88 in Gematria. And we're in the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash. Think about it. U.S. Bank Stadium. That's why the day after the Super Bowl, we got a, the major headline story was market meltdown, right? So here we are. We get a story about a guy named Mick Raven just after the Ravens lose. His name syncs up the national anthem. Interesting, to, inter, interesting too. This guy is the guy who was credited with overseeing the Operation Neptune Spear, the one that killed Osama bin Laden. And 9/11 symbolism has been really important to what's going on recently as well. But notice if you go from this day to McRaven's birthday, it's 54 days or also one month and 24 days. And the big article is about the Pentagon, right? Resigned from Pentagon. Pentagon equals 124. This comes one month, 24 days before his birthday. And the number 54 here, 54 days. If you remember, Osama bin Laden supposedly died 50, age 54, 54 days after his birthday. He was, Osama bin Laden was born on 310, supposedly. This McRaven guy born on the 310th day of the year. And he's the one who supposedly took Osama bin Laden down. Give me a break. The word Pentagon also equals 34. How inter interesting in regards to the flag symbolism, right? They also tell us that he was the resigned from the Defense Innovation Board. And if you type that out in Jabatria, it equals 231, just like Baltimore Ravens, just like National Anthem. News by the numbers, you know. He actually resigned on August 20th, but they waited for that story until just after the Ravens game in September that just happened to fall during the Battle of Baltimore where the National Anthem was written. And just think about the National Anthem in regards to all the the patriotism after 9-11, right, and the Patriot Act, and then Tom Brady comes out of nowhere on September 23rd, right, 23 slash 9, and then he goes on to lead the Patriots to win the Super Bowl, and the Yankees upset the, the Mariners by the numbers to go on to the World Series. I mean, just think about it. It's just think about Osama Bin Laden, how ridiculous, you know? Anyway, this this guy actually resigned 78 days and before his birthday. And National Anthem also equals 78. It reverse reduced Gematria. It equals 78. Also, if you go from his birthday to the day that he really resigned, it was 9 months and 14 days after his birthday. And Francis Scott Key wrote the National Anthem on September 14th, 9-14. So, they they almost released this after midnight. It was just before midnight when they released this. So, it was on 9-13. So, I looked up this guy and I was reading about him. And the more I was reading about him, it talked about how his dad was a fighter pilot in World War II and he briefly played in the NFL. I thought... What are the odds? This guy's even connected to the NFL. His dad played in the NFL. And I looked up his dad, and his dad was born on 223. Right? The Star Spangled Banner equals 223. Kaepernick, War of 1812. This guy's born on 223. His son's name, William McRaven, equals 223 in Gematria. <laughs> his, uh, he played for the Rams as well, the Cleveland Rams. And 
Cleveland has been really significant into a lot of things that I've been documenting. I'm not going to lose you here, but the Rams are super important as well. The Rams are a team that I was talking about with San Francisco, where Colin Kaepernick was from. They play in Levi's Stadium, which Moses was in the tribe of Levi, and Moses brought in the age of Aries, which is the ram. And everything about Moses is the number 34. Sinai equals 34, and Exodus equals 34, and Serpent, and I can't, I can't even remember them all. Red Sea equals 34. I just pulled up a list here. Exodus, Hebrew, Serpent, Red Sea, Canaan, Sinai, Passover, Aries equals 34. Aries is the ram, right? So Colin Kaepernick originally kneels. They play in Levi's Stadium. Moses in the tribe of Levi. But Rams also equal 231, just like National Anthem. Also, for whatever reason, so this guy being the, the guy who took down Osama bin Laden, something just sparked my brain into what I've been documenting about with 9-11. Bin Laden supposedly died on the date of 5-2. And in the year 2011, so it was the year 11. And in Gematria, NWO, which stands for New World Order, just so happens to equal 11 and also 52. A lot like the date that he, Osama bin Laden died, 5-2 of the year 11. And George H.W. Bush's NWO speech just so happened to come 11 years to the day before 9-11 of 2001, you know, the 11th day where planes supposedly hit the 11th state with the buildings that look like a giant 11 and the first plane to hit was flight AA colon 11. A is the first letter, so a lot like 11, 11, you know. Bush's NWO speech 11 years before. So just interesting. And think about it. World... World Trade Center in Jabatria equals 110. Or, blah, 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 blah. Osama bin Laden in Jabatria equals 110. A lot like an 11. And the World Trade Center is supposedly 110 stories tall. And the Pentagon even has Highway 110 next to it. And if you write out 911, I believe it is. We'll type it out really quick. It equals 110 in Jabatria. Osama bin Laden. 110 in Gematria. Those equals 47.2. Building 7 that was 47 stories tall fell for no apparent reason. It just a fire burn it down. Right? 47 feet tall. 47 square feet. Osama bin Laden equals 47. The word president. 110 and 47. The list goes on. You know. White House equals 47. Government 47. Republican. Democrat. D.C. It's all about Freemasonry and their square and compass. It's 47 degrees and their, you know, how they loved Euclid's 47th problem about the foundation of a perfect square. So, anyway, last thing I want to point out here is this McRaven guy. When you look him up, you also find out he was the ninth of what is now 11 of people in Special Operations Command. So there's the 11th guy's in, so we're getting this story. When the 11th one's in, he was the 9th, so reminding us of 9-11. You know, just for another example, if you're not getting what I'm talking about in this, in wrestling, in, there's the NWO as well, with Hulk Hogan, right? Holy, Hollywood, Hogan, and wrestling. Lately, I've been talking about Goldberg and this Goldberg theme, and when I looked up Goldberg, Bill Goldberg here, the wrestler, he's the guy who defeated the NWO and the WCW. And he was drafted in the NFL, and he played for the Rams as well. And he played for the Falcons, even. But look at this. In, in Gematria, New World Order equals 174. 
just like Hollywood Hogan equals 174, the leader of the New World Order in wrestling, and NWO even in reverse Sumerian, a, a different form of gematria, equals 174. And when you look up Bill Goldberg, or Goldberg the wrestler, he he beat the NWO 174 days before his birthday. Right? 174 days before his birthday, he beat the New World Order in wrestling. And he had a record of 173-0 and 0 before he lost to the NWO. And he lost on his 174th match, supposedly. So he beat the, the New World Order that equals 174, 174 days before his birthday. And then he lost to the NWO in his 174th match of his streak, right? And he also debuted in wrestling on the 174th day of 1997. Like, what are the odds of that, you know? Pro wrestling, everyone knows it's fake, but do they know it's actually scripted by the numbers as well? You know, it's absolutely scripted this way. No doubt. You know, and even funnier, you know, this just so happens to be George... W. Bush's birthday, the day that he won the New World, he beat the New World Order to get the championship. It's George W. Bush's birthday of all days, right? 68 days before 9 11, and 9 1 1 made the emergency dialing code in the year 68, you know, the year George Bush graduated Yale, Skull and Bones. And, you know, just think about all the predictive programming in wrestling. You had the, the mega powers versus the whatever it was, and then they're like, and the Twin Towers are going to come crumbling down. I mean, they, so much predictive programming in the WWE and WCW and pro fake wrestling, it's not even funny. So you don't even have to know numbers, just watch it. They're, they're even showing you the themes that are going along with it. So we'll leave the video there. I just wanted to show you this. It's an absolute apparent theme, and there's it's... No coincidence that we get a story about this guy named Mick Raven in the news the same day that the Ravens lose by the numbers to the Cincinnati Bengals. So, have a good one. Peace.